you called it illusions of grandeur because of what? Well, we walked up, and it was we, it had already been bolted. We walked. Oh, had it? Yes, it had. And we we got to we got to the bottom. Well, sort of down there, and it was all like mist and clouds sort of swirling around it, and the, you could just see the top poking up. And it looked huge. It looked like it was a couple thousand feet. Oh, this is awesome. Then you get on it, and it's not quite as big as that, but. Tell me the story of the titanium friend. Oh, years and years ago, Dad and I were up here, and I was sitting in there. Yep. And um, put down this titanium micro friend, and it slid underneath the slab. <laughs> and Dad was pissed, and bloody made me walk up the next day with a bit of bloody wire trying to fish the damn thing out. <laughs> I couldn't get it. <laughs> it's still under there somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'll find it in a thousand years, it'll be like an artifact. <laughs> remember his last name now yeah. we used to stay there and his wife had all these little chickens yeah chicks running around and I walk in and I stood on one and all its guts came out its ass right <laughs> but all the other ones started eating it so dad runs up and goes oh quick put it out of its misery and goes like this and pulls its head off <laughs> right in front of the, the wife <laughs> <laughs> and goes, oh shit, I didn't realise its neck was so weak. <laughs> it's got the dance in one hand and the, the body in the other. <laughs> and she just looked at us with this horrified look on her face. Man, what the hell have we got here? <laughs> uh. <laughs>